वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ मेथड विथ विच यू कैन लिटली स्क्वेयर दिस मिक्सड फ्रैक्शन ओके इन सेकेंड्स आई कैन डेट डायरेक्टली टेल यू द आंसर फॉर दिस वन इज वॉट वन वन जीरो वन अपॉन फोर ओके नाउ यू माइट बी वंडरिंग हाउ डिड आई डू दैट आई माइट हैव रिटर्न इट समवेयर डाउन नो 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 दैट्स एब्सोलूटली नॉट द केस आई विल शो यू विद द प्रॉपर वर्किंग्स वी विल फर्स्ट कन्वर्ट दिस मिक्स फ्रैक्शन इन टू अ प्रॉप इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन so all you have to do is to multiply the denominator with the quotient that is what 2 into 10 gets you 20 plus 1 upon 2 the whole square so this comes out to be 21 upon 2 the whole square so here we know 21 square is what 441 now see understand there are people who do not know this square so then things get trickier because you have to actually first find the square of 20 One and then you start the division. Now what happens over here is we'll divide. This is an improper fraction, right? So again we need to divide it. So four ones are four zero. This four is taken down again. Four ones are four or forty one. Sorry, we'll take forty one down. So we'll have what four tens are, and here you are just left with what one. New remainder is just one. so this when you were to convert it into an in uh, mixed form your answer comes out to be what 110 is your quotient so this comes out over here your division 4 remains as your remainder uh, sorry as your denominator and your remainder comes out to be your numerator and if you see this value is exactly same as this value so you saw how easily we could do this now you might be wondering this might be applicable to only this one no yeah no i can actually show you what happens when you do uh for let's say 3 1 upon 2 the whole square again in this case your answer comes out to be 12 1 upon 4 now in this case what we will do is again i'll show you with the proper method so 3 into 2 gets you what 6 6 plus 1 gets you 7 upon 4 the whole sorry sorry my bad it is actually 7 upon 2 okay so we had 7 upon 2 the whole square that comes out to be 49 upon 2 and as we upon 4 my bad okay and as we know when you divide 49 by 4 you get the quotient as what 12 Because for four into twelve gets you forty eight, and when you take forty eight from forty nine, you get the remainder as one, and your four gets continued to be your denominator. And you see easily we do this. Okay, now I shall go to the trick. Please understand, whenever you have what seven and a half square, if you had to find seven and a half square, the answer for this one would be what? Just do one upon four square of this fraction, which is one upon four. That will remain constant. Then you do what? You multiply seven with what? Next number, which is eight. Seven into eight gets you what? Fifty-six. The answer for this one is fifty-six one upon four. Okay. I hope this is very, 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 very clear to everyone. Now imagine if you had to do this in the proper technical format, it would be what? Fifteen upon two the whole square. So then you had to do what? Two twenty-five. upon 4 and then you would come to this particular answer okay so instead of working all of these things you just directly got this answer with this particular trick of mine it's so so easy i'll show you one more number and we we'll understand how to do this further so let's say if you had um 11 1 upon 2 the whole square if you had something like this So what you will do is you will multiply eleven with what the next number, which is what one thirty two. Eleven into twelve gets you one thirty two, and then you continue squaring one upon two. That is nothing but one upon four. So how easily you could do this? But there is the only disclaimer that this works for mixed fractions. Okay, mixed fractions with fraction part. fraction being equal to just 1 upon 2 yes please understand this will not work for 1 upon 4 for 1 upon 3 for 1 upon 6 no it will not work for them i'm trying to figure out a method in which i can explain you how to find out or you know something as simple as this one 
to find out squares of mixed fractions when you have a fraction which has 1 upon 4 or 1 upon 3 or 1 upon 6. So I hope this is very very clear to everyone. Okay, so that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.